the YouTube channel. Never have I ever season three is it the penultimate season. This is my episode one reaction. I'll be reviewing every single episode of the ten episode season. Spoilers ahead, of course. If you haven't checked out the first two seasons, be sure to do so. And of course, subscribe and like and let me know down below your thoughts on episode one of season three. Enjoy. So episode one you know they're like 25 minute episode what I, what i fear we're going down the road is on this series is it's going to get quite repetitive eventually i don't know how they're going to do four seasons but from this first episode you know you see in dv and paxton their official relationship a couple they've been out for a couple of weeks and this episode battled with the fact of can they work as a couple? Is Dee going to be forced into these situations of where she has to have sex or be sexually active on a regular basis with Paxton? And, you know, through the episode, she's hearing whispers from X, Y, and Z saying Chinese, um, Chinese whispers, as they would say, made up things that not necessarily are true. And obviously confronting Paxton after they're about to have sex, he says, we'll go slow. I want to go at your pace. And you're seeing how well they work together. But with that controversial text message coming at the end from an anonymous source saying you don't know who pa Paxton is, it sort of leads me to this thing of, are they milking Never Have I Ever? Um, I'm obviously going to watch it. It's enjoyable. It's cheesy. It's corny. It's all these things. But it's a good show. It's a good introduction. You know, you've got Ben and I think her name's it, A.V. Um, you're seeing the differences between them two. You're seeing that Ben is ridiculously smart. He got a flat hundred, as he would say. Uh, he wants extra credit. He wants to do this X, Y, and Z, as I say. But his girlfriend, Avi, the girl who DV bullied in the back end of season two, she's not as ac academically motivated. She is happy with what she gets. She'll put effort in, but not the effort that Ben does. And it's seeing the friction between them, Fabiola and her girlfriend. You're seeing distance in between them because the girlfriend moved to Korea and it's the time zones and she's having to wake up at stupid o'clock American time to talk to her at lunchtime it's all these crazy things this, this first episode tackled the four couples and the last couple was uh paxton's friend and then dv's last friend the other girl the awkward girl and their relationship and the misunderstanding between each other and not knowing if they're going to date each other or they want to date each other and by the end of it they've solidified theirs fabiola wants to I think break up with her girlfriend who's moved to korea Ben is becoming distance with his girlfriend and DV and Pax that are on the same page and moving forward. But obviously with that text message, it leaves things open to the thing of, are they going to be okay? Who is this mystery person? What is Pax then hiding? And how can they make the stories fresh going into the next nine episodes? You know, it's, it's not going to be, I, you know, you look at how and what the future holds for these. Is DV going to be back with Ben at some point? Are they the ultimate endgame? You, you'd hope it's DV and Paxton because I think they're so different but so similar at the same time. Paxton understands DV, DV understands Paxton. I think DV and Ben are two alike, but in the sense it works because of how intelligent and smart they are. You, you sort of enjoy them together. So there's pros and cons to the first episode, but I like what they've done to introduce us to these characters again and what they're going through at the moment. You saw the bitchy girls, you saw the weirdos gossiping online, but it builds for your typical cringy, uh, corny um, American TV show. And that's what this is. It's not meant to be the greatest. I don't think it's not uh going to be anything we're going to remember in 20 years but it's enjoyable for the moment and i think episode one was a great introduction so a solid start to the series i'm hoping to i'm looking forward to seeing where they go with these stories uh i hope you're excited too to see what happens between paxton and dv and ben and all the other people in their core group so hit that subscribe button leave a like and eagerly await episode two through nine through ten of my reviews coming soon and i'll be reviewing season one as well if you want to see my season two reviews go check them out and i think i did some season three predictions so be sure to check that out as well when you can with season four dropping in 2023 the final season see you next one goodbye